In this video, I'm going to show you how to make little scented packets for drawers or laundry. These are called sachets, and I filled them up with lavender and rose petals, um, and they're super easy to make. So the materials you need are the pattern. You can print this off from my website. There's a link in the description. There's also measurements if you want to use the measurements. So we're going to also need a funnel if you have one, or you can use paper to create a funnel for filling. And then I got both tea, uh, rose petals and lavender buds. The rose petals have sort of a more subtle scent, and these are really, really fun. I like the smell of these, so if lavender is too much for you, you can do that. And then lavender buds, and I'll link to these two things as well. So these are dried lavender and dried rose petals. And then for the packets, I also used a fun stitch on this little spot here to give it a little extra pop. So um, you can do that if your machine has those fun stitches. So the first thing you'll want to do is back your fabric with interfacing and then cut out one side, one main piece. And we are going to pin the side piece on here to the main and then just sew it up with a one quarter inch seam allowance. After you've done that, we're going to press the seam allowance towards the side piece. And that will give us a thicker base for our decorative stitching. Okay, so now I'm going to run a fun stitch down this side piece right next to that seam. And if you want to add any other stitching lines to kind of make it look a little more quilted on this one, I did some straight lines to give it more texture. You can do that right now. A lot of sewing machines have little like plant kind of looking stitching. So I think those are fun for these since we're using plants on the inside for the smell. So after you have done that, give it a little press and then we're going to fold and press the packet in half, just matching up those corners. And then we're going to sew the, so this is the folded edge, we're going to sew the open edges with a one quarter inch seam allowance. And then we're going to leave about an inch or an inch and a half open right here. And that'll be for turning and filling our packet. Just make sure you're pivoting at the corners and back stitching where you start and stop your stitch. Now we are going to trim the corners and the seam allowances just a little bit. And turn this right side out. Okay, and you have that open spot right here. So we're gonna give it a press before we stuff it and just fold under this opening with the one quarter inch folded in. It's just so that when we press it, we'll have kind of a nice guide for our hand stitching later. Okay, now you can use your funnel or some paper to fill this up with your choice of dried flower. And if you're using roses, this funnel is a little too small for those rose petals. So you either have to smash them or use a piece of paper to get them through. And since this funnel is small, you have to kind of shake it or use a pen to kind of smush them down. <laughs> they kind of get stuck a little bit. And if you want to make this a little bit heavier, you can add some rice in there. Um, 
but you can just add as much as you want here or as little as you want. And just to add that much more and then kind of check it. stuffed it not so that it looks like a huge pillow but it's just kind of a flat just stuffed it full but not not overflowing and then your packet just needs to be sewn closed now so just use you can either just top stitch it with a straight stitch or use a hand needle and thread to finish that packet up now your packets are ready and you can stick these in gym bags or if you're sewing at Christmas time, you can stick one in a stocking to make it smell good. Uh, and these are really fun little gifts.